What's up guys? Nerdy Noob here and I have an unboxing video for you. This is actually, if you can see by the date, this is actually from last month, but uh, let me show you what it is first. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 2016 June Retro Pop Box, the 1990s. Really quick backstory, I have been subscribed to the Retro Pop Box for a little bit. I've been getting the 1980s box, but then they recently came out the 1990s box. If you watch my previous June 1980s video, you'll know that there were some issues because I went in my account to change it to the 1990s a while ago when they had that option and then it changed it back because I guess the box wasn't ready. So I did not get the very first 1990s box. This is the very first 1990s box. So I was a little bit sad about it and I made a comment about it and I think some of you guys even tried to contact the company about it and they actually contacted me and they were like, oh, we're sorry about that. We made sure that the, your account got changed so I'm going to start getting the 1990s box from now on. But then they actually shipped me this. So this is last month's 1990s box, the very first one, and I'm very excited because I did see some unboxing videos for this and uh, I did like the item. So anyways, if you're interested in getting this box, I'll go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box and you remove this, what does their sticker say? Booyah! So we're usually getting to the max, which is the 1980s sticker. This one says booyah, which is a little bit more my style. Uh, for those of you that know me, I was getting the 1980s box because at the time they only had 80s, 70s, and 60s, and the 80s connected with me more than the 60s and 70s. Um, now they only sell the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and of course I was a 90s kid, so I'm excited about this box. I changed my mind. This is actually the July box, I think. Okay, I actually think that this is the July box. So I think that this is actually the second 1990s box that they have. This is what came in the box. Let's see if we can take a look. This is just an ad for some cruise. Yes, this looks different than the box that I watched unboxing videos for. So this is the 2016 July Retro Pop Box, 1990s themed. The first time that we have is this little tea towel, little towel. This is a Chicago Bulls towel. I love how all the 90s boxes have been given a Chicago Bulls stuff. I know when we were kids, they were pretty much the S word. Next we got, ooh, I'm excited about these. Uh, I hope that all of these boxes just continue to give us freaking pogs. Look at this. So it's a pack of pogs, and this is, has the fun retro pop box fun fact. Pogs, the game that was hugely popular in the 90s was a revival of a game that was popular in Hawaii in the 20s. In 1991, a Hawaiian teacher used the game she remembered from her youth to help teach math and to present the game to play at recess. The game spread through, through Hawaii and spread to mainland USA. Pogs captured images of everything it seems. Toys, cartoons, games, sports, and famous people were popular images on Pogs. Fast food chains like McDonald's, Burger King, and Taco Bell made Pogs free items with menu purchases. Since one of the game variations is to play for keeps, many school districts banned Pogs considering them a form of gambling. I hated playing for keeps. I never played for keeps. I didn't like the fact that I could potentially lose my stuff. Ooh, look at this. We got a Power Ranger. This, I think it's a Power Ranger. It looks like a Megazord or like one of the heads of the thing. Slammer. And then we just got a bunch of different designs. I love Pog so much. I got to get my Pog container that I got from my the 90s box unboxing, but these are the pogs that we got. Nothing fancy. We got like fat fish. I don't know if these are actually old or if they're new. We got some duplicate ones. We actually got a lot of duplicate ones. Look at this one. Grandma, what bad breath you have. All right, so I'm excited about this. I love pogs. I need to invest in a better slammer though, because every time we get a slammer, it's these cheap, dinky plastic ones that do nothing. Like they literally do nothing. Maybe it's the board. I got one, woohoo! All right, so I like that, that was awesome. Next, we have this metal thing. Oh, it's an incense box. Is this metal or is it wood? It feels like, it looks like wood, but it feels like metal, but I think this might be wood and then they just painted it with a material that looks like, actually if it was incense, wouldn't it be metal? I don't know, I think it's wood. So I think this is an incense holder. That's what it looks like. It says Sublime on it. There's no incense that it came with, but I'm gonna say that this is an incense burner. I actually did not buy incense. If you've noticed, I don't really like scents and smells. They're very strong for me. Like my nose is very sensitive, so I usually stay away from that. But this is a heavy item. Next, we got Buffy the High School Years. This is a book. It's from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is funny. Oh, it's a graphic novel. That's nice. Colored graphics, which is cool. I wasn't a huge fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. 
when I was younger. I think I watched a couple. Of, I didn't get vampires when I was younger. I like. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I I was a very, not immature, but just like growing up, I was very like little kid. Even up until like in high school, like I felt like a little kid. Like I love Spongebob. I just love little kid things. So this was not necessarily something that I was super into. But that's cool. Little book. And then before we do the recap card, let's look at the shirt. The shirt is a black shirt and it is a retro pop box exclusive medium. What's the design? How is it? Hopefully something good. Sexy Rexy. It's Rex Manning Day. I think this is based off of a movie. You know, I'm not even going to say because I really don't know. I want to say, uh, I want to say this is the guy who worked at the record store, but honestly, I don't really know. Again, when I grew up, I was watching little kid movies. I have no idea. This looks like a little bit something that wasn't my style, but let's take a look at the card and check it out. Rex Manning, Rex Manning, Rex Manning. All right, here we go. This is the July 2016 box. Sorry, I got that wrong in the beginning. So the other one that I got was from last month. So I'll show that one in a little bit. Okay, the first one we got is our Rex Manning t-shirt from Empire Records. Okay, I want to say that I might have seen this movie maybe one time. I don't think I saw it when I was younger, though. But I want to say it was about people who worked at a record store. That's all I can remember. Honestly, that's all I remember about that movie. It... When did it come out? I don't know when it came out. I think that, I don't think that I was old enough, to be honest, like when this movie came out, I don't think I was old enough to enjoy it. Like, I think I was still watching Nickelodeon and stuff. So, there's that. We got our Chicago Bulls rally towel, which is awesome. Very nice, with the old school Bulls sign. We got the Buffy, the high school years, freaks and geeks graphic novel book. I can imagine if you were a fan of Buffy the Vampire that you would love this item. Like, if they gave us a Saved by the Bell book or Boy Meets World or Full House or something like that, I'd be all for that. We got our stack of pogs with our slammer. And then we got our sublime incense burner. Okay, that's what I thought this was. So we got our sublime incense burner. This is very heavy duty. All right, let's go ahead and do some pricing. I don't know exactly how much all this stuff is worth. And I don't remember how much I paid for this box. Let's see. So this box is $25. Let's go ahead and see how much this box is worth. I paid $25 for it. Shirt is $10. The little towel, I'll go ahead and give um, maybe $2. This book is priced at $10.99, so let's go ahead and just give that $10. And then I don't... Well, the Pogs, I'm going to go ahead and give... $2.50 for a Pogs and a Slammer. That's probably a little bit overpriced, but whatever. And then this incense burner, I really don't know how much these things like are worth, but I would be comfortable giving this anywhere from $5 to $8. So let's go ahead and just give it maybe... I mean, this is really heavy duty. I just don't use these things, so I really don't know. Maybe, maybe $6? Let's do $6. Okay, so according to my pricing, I think this box is worth $30.50. Um, I don't... I mean, maybe I over price the book in this thing oh my gosh you could hurt somebody with this like it's it's legit really heavy duty um but you know what this is better value than what I usually get from them because I think recently it hasn't been the greatest so I'm excited about that let's see I got five dollars and fifty cents extra value on top of what I paid for I would expect a little bit more but I found with all the retro boxes that you really don't get a whole lot of extra value so if it can actually just hit its value that's really good so I'm a fan that it hit its value and I got five dollars and fifty cents extra if I had to rate this box I wasn't the biggest fan of this box because I just didn't connect with everything, but I loved the Pogs and I loved the Chicago Bulls towel. Um, if I had to rate this box, I'd probably give this box a probably just a 3.5 out of 5 noobs. I think in general I just would want a little bit more value and it just, I didn't connect with the items. But if you, if this was like your thing, like if you liked Empire Records and you like the Bulls and you like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, then I can imagine that you would give this box, I would probably say at most a 4.25 out of 5 noobs. Maybe a 4.5, but I think that it can't go too high because it is lacking in the value a little bit. But yeah, not a bad box. Uh, I think I preferred the June box a little bit better, so I'll open that and check it out and see. 
um, because I don't really remember what's in it, but yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out the go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. I know I don't have too many. I have a lot of people who grew up in the 90s like me, but I also have a lot of people who grew up in the 80s. So hopefully you're not too upset that I switched up my boxes because I will no longer be getting the 80s retro pop box, but if you are interested in that, definitely check it out. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this box. And did any of you 90s kids like all of these items? And if you did, what would you rate this box? Let me know down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys later. Bye!